The Smash Wii U competitive scene has now been eclipsed by the new and shiny Smash Ultimate. But the fourth iteration of Smash brought us one of the most impressive win streaks to ever occur in all of esports. In 2014, Zero was in the discussion of being a top three Super Smash Bros. Brawl player. That same year, he was also ranked 35th in Melee. But when Smash Wii U dropped, Zero turned his attention to the newest Smash title. Two months after the release of Smash 4, Zero started his reign. On November 29th, Zero won his first event, UGC Bi-Weekly 17. But it wasn't until Apex 2015 that people really started to appreciate his Smash 4 brilliance. This could be a decisive two-stock, and up air oh is going to be God. the end of the tournament. Zero will take it, standing on it, winning Apex 2015. Amazing job by Zero, free agent. Somebody called this man. Zero City Kong became an absolute force, but during his win streak, he also showed expertise with Sheik and occasionally Captain Falcon. He does not have the platform, Mac. He does not have the access to the platforms this time. But if Idol does air dodge. Oh! Now, in June 2015, Zero had made it 34 straight tournament victories. CEO was the next event, and the tournament organizer, Alex Jabaley, added to the storyline. He put up a $250 bounty for anyone who could take down Zero. That bounty was then doubled by Smashboards.com owner Chris Brown. Even with extra money on Zero's head, no one was able to take down the Scarf Bandit. Yeah, Zero is looking like the champion. I might be, I might be speaking too soon though. But I mean, yeah, we can still, we can still see a, a one of the same combos that we saw for, uh, to get that first knock off from Nairo right now. Oh, when he missed the grab. And oh, there, there it is. That's going to be it right Amazing there. Amazing job right there by Zero, not dropping one set. This man remains undefeated. Just when you thought his dominance had reached its peak, it was time for the biggest fighting game event of the year, EVO. As the obvious favorite, Zero had made it all the way to Grand Finals without losing a single game. On the other side of the bracket was Mr. R, but not even he could put a blemish on Zero's perfect run. Ooh. Zero working so hard, finally be able to get that grab. Oh, a one? A oh, two? Is this, is oh my god! Destruction! What? Zero! He, what a play! Yes, he does it! What an amazing combo! This man is the grand champion here, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. A couple weeks later, Zero got signed by TSM as previously requested by D1 at Apex. But after nine months of pure domination, Zero stated that he was starting to get burnt out by the process. He started to look human at the Big House 5, and it appeared his run might come to an end. Zero was knocked to losers early by Siegel Joe, putting his winning streak at risk. Holy Z Zero showing uh, the knowledge, DIing down and being able to protect those down throws to prevent edge guarding opportunities from Siegel Joe. Oh my god! Oh, here it is! Oh my god! Oh my god! Zero goes down to Siegel! What? What? <laughs> However, Zero put together the loser's run of a lifetime, including a bracket reset against Nairo in the grand final. Nairo just get, Nairo can't even throw out a grab right now. If he throws out a grab, that will be the end of the set. Yes, sir. And so like now he he has to just play around this. Nice good play right there, getting that covered. Yes, the grab again. Oh, that's gonna be it. Nice down oh smash. Oh my and gosh. zero. All the way from losers. Keeping his reign. This was legendary win number 56. Two weeks later at MLG 2015, Nairo would get his revenge for a year straight of losses to zero. One more stock, and you can hear the chat right now. They want one more stock. This is looking amazing for Nairo. Absolutely. Zero looks like he does not have the answers today. This oh my god. Oh, no! The Guinness Book of Records acknowledges Zero's nearly year-long winning streak. It's by far the longest winning streak that Smash Bros. has ever seen. And on top of that, it might be the most dominant run in all of esports.